Danny Johnson doing da Danny Johnson things. Danny Johnson scores in the 90th minute to get Warsaw a 2-1 win at home to Swindon Town. And what a massive win that is. Um, if we go through the game and hold a full first half, and um, we were the better team. You know what, we could have been f 3 or 4 nil up. Um, obviously, Mo Fowl scores off a corner, and he could have had um, probably another one. And one before that, which he probably should have scored. And then we've had a couple more, you know, Josh Gordon probably has to score in one of them. Um, we've had our chances again, and we could have been, it could have been a lot more comfortable in the game. Like I said, we could have been um, three or four in the love half, half time. Swindon were giving us chances. Um, they're playing a high risk, high reward type of game, playing out from the back. And um, I thought as the half wore on a little bit, they were probably last five minutes of work opening us opening us up a little bit more, um, having um, free crosses, uh, getting in the midfield in the little pockets and opening up and playing a little bit more for my liking, but we were the better side first half, no about, doubt about that, but second half I thought we, were the, um, we weren't the better team, I thought Swindon probably edged it in terms of that, um, it's a brilliant finish um, from their player, from being critical though, we shouldn't be able to turn and you know pick his spot out like that. Um, for the goal and then we needed something to raise it and massive credit for Matt Sadler you know he's made a triple change there bringing Knowles Danny Johnson on and Jamil Matt you know it was a, a massive risk that he had to take to be honest with you you know a draw would have been no good tonight and he's done it and it's really changed the game you know um, Danny Johnson gets the ball he lays it off to Taylor Allen and then one of the substitutes Jamil Matt heads it down for Danny Johnson and let's just speak, um, speak about that finish. What a finish. I think it was on his right foot as well, into the top right-hand corner. What a finish. And that's what Danny Johnson knows um, does. I mean, I, I think we all know um, what he brings to the team. He brings goals, which a striker should do. And obviously, Matt Sadler has his different opinion on a striker, um, which, you know, works in the game for Josh Gordon. He ran his socks off again. Um, superb. Uh, but when you need that clinical edge in the game, um, you have to keep them type of strikers on. Um, you know, like I said, I'm a massive fan of Danny Johnson, and you know, if I were uh, managing this team, he would be the first name on the team sheet because he's he's going to guarantee your goals in games. You know, like today, one shot, one goal. It's in the back of the net. Um, he might not run his, um, he might not press like Josh Gordon. He might not get up to them high speeds in the game, but. You know, he's deadly in the 18-yard box and he does that and absolutely superb finish and it keeps us in the hunt for the playoffs that does now. Up to eighth place in the league, just a point off Crawley who have drew 1-1 at home to Barrow. So it's all to play for, last two games. I think a lot of fans thought it was over um, after that not County game, but I've got to be honest, I still believed. Um, you know, it only takes a, a result to change it and we've got um, got the result today. Um, like I said, if I'm being critical, we've got to take our chances more, but I hope that comes and um, fingers crossed it does and um, we can get a comfortable win at Bradford, but I don't think that's going to be an easy game. You know, they've got the threats up front, Andy Cook, so our defence has got to be right on it. You know, Donovan Daniels, David Cagbu, um, Tal Allen, superb again today. He was up there for man of the match. Um, Josh Gordon put, thought he put a good shift in as well. Sturk, Roy Sturk, I thought he was quality first half. Thought he really controlled the midfield. And he looked so much better as a holder. Um, but, you know, the main story that's going to come away from this, you know, is Danny Johnson coming on and getting that winner. And I'm absolutely glad for him, you know. It's probably been a hard season for him, Danny Johnson. Um, you know, he got injured midway through and he hasn't really had a run of games, um, which has been a bit harsh on him, I think, especially the second half of the season, you know, since Drape has gone back. We haven't really had a goal scorer up front, um, so he'll probably feel hard done by, but he's come up and he's really contributed to the side now. And we're going to need every player now from now up until the end of the season. Um, we've got to be united like we have done for the whole of the second half of the season really um, the fans the whole place has been united um, and we've got to have that and every player like I said has got to be available ready to come on um, but yeah um, massive win like I said up to 8 one point off the playoff and I think it's going to come down to the last game of the season so two more finals let's keep it up um, let's get our granddad on granddad what are we thinking of that
Hi Sandler's. Great win. Still in the hunt for the playoffs. Now gets the final goal. D Day Johnny Donson up the Sandler's. Who's your man of the match today? Well, I should say Gordon. Josh Gordon? Yeah. Yeah, he ran his socks off again, yeah. to be fair to him. What are we thinking for Saturday, Bradford at home? What are we well, thinking? it's going to be a tough game, but uh, I can see we uh, get in it. Yeah. Not that fat bastard, no score, <laughs> Andy Cook. Um, yeah, hopefully we keep him quiet, but yeah, we've got to get another three points on um, Saturday to keep up with them um, teams in and around the playoff front, you know, Doncaster's still in there, obviously Crawley, uh, Wimbledon, Gillingham, we've got to keep an eye on, so got to keep this going, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, leave in the comments your thoughts on today's game, and you know, massive win for the Saddlers, so hopefully into the next one now, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and up the Saddlers! Up the Saddlers!